Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a haul of purely e.l.f. products and I'm so excited. I've got a very large box of stuff here and it's all come because the e.l.f. website had a 50% off for like one or two days only and I just couldn't not buy things. I don't know what happened to my willpower but it just completely up and left me because I went a little bit crazy. But everything was half price and e.l.f. is such an affordable brand anyway. I kind of saw this as an opportunity to try things that I might not normally. So I've got a bit of a mix of stuff, lots of makeup brushes, quite a lot for the lips and just a few little odds and sods. And it is gonna be a bit of a mixed video because some of the things I have used before, some of the things I've already kind of picked out and tried. So it's a bit of a first impressions haul and feedback video really. So yeah, let's get stuck in. So first things first, I picked up three of the same brushes and these are the Blending Eye Brush by e.l.f. And I've got one out of the package so that you can see it. I'm gonna go old school and do the whole hand thing. It's quite a short bristled brush, incredibly soft, and I have actually already been using one. And it's really good actually at blending. It, it was like maybe a pound, pound 50, and I wasn't really sure how good it was gonna be. And I'm really impressed with them. It's very good if you've already kind of applied color and you purely want to soften edges. This is perfect. And um, so I got three of those, because you can never have too many brushes, can you really? And then I picked up another one of their brushes. I picked up the smudge brush and this is something that I have already got out of his packaging and had a play with and I was very impressed with this to be honest. So I haven't had a smudge brush like this before. I've had the really small ones and obviously like the pencil brushes but this is quite a, a rounded edge but also quite dense and quite a thick brush and it is fantastic actually for dragging eyeshadow underneath your eye and also if you want to go really dramatic in the socket it's great for that so for applying and really packing on dark colors this is very quickly becoming one of my favorite makeup brushes and again it was really affordable maybe a couple of pounds so definitely definitely recommend that so far so the other product in the box that I have already got out and used is the e.l.f. bronzer I really love the e.l.f. packaging it's so sleek it's almost like the old NARS packaging before they went quite rectangular this bronzer is in the shade Golden, and it's like a quad bronzer, but what I love about this is that it is ever so slightly shimmery, but in a way that's kind of more of a really subtle highlight, if you can see that, it gives you this beautifully healthy glow, and it's lovely. It's really good for, for paler girls as well, which I like. It doesn't. It's not a bronzer that is too orangey or too muddy looking on the skin. It doesn't make you look dirty at all. It is lovely, and it comes with a very helpful mirror as well, so it's great in your handbag for touch-ups. So next up, I've got a couple of these. Um, oh no, I think I've got three of them actually. So, oops, there we go. They are the Lip Liner and Blending Brush, and I've got three shades. I've got Red, Wine, and Nude Pink. So let's get some of these out and have a little look. I actually haven't played with these at all yet, so nice packaging, double-ended. So at one end you've got a nice lip brush, and you've got on the other a retractable lip liner. I like how pointed that is already, if you can see that. Let me give you a little swatch of this. Well, that's a nice colour. So that's the nude pink. Let me swatch the other two and then I'll show you all of them. Right, so I've swatched them all now and these are the three. So at the very top, you've got red, then nude pink and then wine at the bottom. And I really like all three of those. I, I think I pick quite well. I wear a lot of berry lip colours in um, autumn. Red, obviously moving into Christmas and I love a red lip anyway. And then that nude pink is so versatile, it can be worn pretty much under anything or even on its own, it's very pretty. So I like those, they're very creamy. And also this idea of having the lip brush on the end is a really smart move. So if we try and blend out the lip color a little bit, I mean, that's very messy, but it gives you the idea. They blend quite well. I would say the only thing about these, the packaging is very neat, but the um, ends that the brushes are on, they kind of go a little bit crooked. So you have to really make sure they're on tight, but I can imagine that they're gonna get lost quite quickly and then the brushes are gonna get wrecked. But the actual product, very creamy. I love how pointed the actual tip of the liner is and the colors I'm really impressed with. So they were good purchases as well. And then, what else did I get? So the other one that looks a bit like that, but I think it's different, is a matte lip colour in the shade Wine. So that can go with the lip liner, which is exciting. Let's have a look. I really, they've really channeled NARS with their packaging. It's great, I really like it. So this is what it looks like. Again, retractable kind of crayon. That's the shade there on the top. 
which is lovely. It's not particularly matte. I'll see if it dries down a bit on my hand. It's more of kind of a satiny finish, which is fine because I actually don't like matte lip colours all that much. So I don't mind that, but that's a beautiful autumnal colour. Then I've got another lip thing, which I'm frankly, I think is the most exciting part of this entire video. It's a lip palette. And I've never had a whole lip palette. Oh God, it's got one of those things on it. Hang on. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. So let's get this out. Judging by the packaging and from the website, I'm expecting a real mix. So it's called the Runway Ready Palette and it's Lip Palette 2. So you get, oh, they're nice. So you get a lip brush that's basically the same lip brush on the end of those lip liners and these colours. So you get six different shades. They all look quite balmy and quite creamy. And you get a good neutrally pink, a fuchsia pink, that actually looks quite red on the packaging, so that's a bit different from what I was expecting. A bubblegum pink, a nudie brown. This is quite a peachy pink, peachy apricot pink, and then quite a neutral colour at the end that's not really pink. Brownie pink, maybe? Not very good at describing pink colours, am I? Okay, so this looks interesting. I want to play a little bit more with that. I'm also trying to be so careful. I've now got lipstick all over my hands, and I've got white bed sheets on the bed, so... Yes. So the last lip thing that I picked up, and I kind of can't remember picking up this many lip things, but I obviously did. So it's the Beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick in the shade Touch of Pink. And it's, it's a proper lipstick this time. Okay, let's swatch this. I'm running out of swatching places, actually. Let's pop you here. Oh, that's lovely. Right, so that's that colour. That's definitely something I could wear every day. That would look really nice with this eye makeup, actually. Really like that. That'll be one that I'm going to wear to work. It feels really pretty. It's really, again, balmy. All of these have been quite balmy. Even the matte one that's meant to dry down matte kind of hasn't, but I'm not complaining. I like that. Um, right, next up. This was something that I wasn't really sure on, so I thought, let's pick it up because it's half price and give it a whirl. And it is the HD Under Eye Setting Powder in Sheer. And I'm not really much of a setting powder person. You know, I'm not really into baking like makeup baking, I like making cakes, <laughs> just to clarify. This is, I thought this is gonna be so much bigger actually than what's arrived. I thought it was gonna be like a proper jar of setting powder, but it looks looks lovely, a really neat little compact powder. Um, glass or plastic, can't really tell. Plastic. Um, and you pull to open and it's just a finely milled powder and you just shake it out into the lid and try it under the eyes. I'm gonna, be interested in this I'll let you know how it goes I have a real issue with my concealer creasing maybe three hours into wearing it I just have all the lines under my eyes so if this does a good job you will definitely hear about this on my Instagram blog etc so that'll be interesting then I picked up their daily brush cleaner there's quite a lot in here as well you get 60 mils of product which is a lot so I'm either awful or extremely diligent when it comes to cleaning my makeup brushes. And I was hoping that this will help me even when I'm not really in the mood for a deep clean, I can just spritz this in between uses. When I'm really bad at cleaning my makeup brushes, the only thing that reminds me to do it is the fact that I break out, which is gross. And I, I admit that is really bad. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be great. I'll definitely try this out and report back on that. And last but not least, I have got the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Spot Gel with Aloe Vera. Now this was a bit of an odd product for me. Now I, I actually didn't realise e.l.f. did so much skincare until they had their 50% their off. This is really neat. It's just a little spot gel. Um, directions. Cleanse the skin thoroughly before applying medication. Medication? Sounds fancy. Cover the entire affected area with a thin layer one to three times daily. Oh, okay. I think it's got 10%. 10%? Or is that a decimal point? I haven't got my glasses on. I'm a bit blind. Can't have 10%, can it? That'll burn your face. 1%, not 10%, um, salicylic acid in it, which is good for when you have breakout. So that'll be interesting. How does it come out? Oh, okay. So it's a roller ball, like those old school lip glosses, which actually I wouldn't imagine to be that hygienic because you put it on your spot and then, okay, we'll give it a go and we'll see. That's that. That's the last thing I have to show you. The box is now basically remains of packaging. It's a sorry state of affairs and my bed is now covered in e.l.f. products. My hand is covered, 
we're done. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I will report back on any of the products that I actually haven't used yet and keep an eye out on my Instagram. I'm getting really active on Instagram stories so if you don't follow me yet then please do. All of the links are down below and if you're watching please do hit the subscribe button too. The amount of people that watch my videos that actually aren't subscribed is, is quite high so if you do enjoy these please do subscribe it would mean a lot and I will see you again soon. Thanks guys, bye!